About nine months ago, I designed, drew, and 3D printed a Glynn Valley Tramway Bayer Peacock Loco in 15mm scale. Although it looked okay, I was disappointed with its performance. The Backman motor block, which I had used, was recycled from one of their tram car models and was somewhat underpowered. It could just about manage a three coach train, but it struggled with a goods train of a decent length, usually eight to ten wagons on my railway. So I designed and 3D printed my own motor block using the ever popular MFA Como 918D 30 to 1 ratio gearbox motor with one to one bevel gears. I also added a tooth belt and sprockets to give it four wheel drive. Although not a pretty sight, all this was going to be hidden beneath the skirts of the loco. To my disappointment, it fared no better than the original Backman motor block. And so, I redesigned the motor block to take a heftier gearbox motor, the MFA Como 940DLN with a 51 to 1 gear ratio. This motor is 32mm in diameter rather than the 25mm diameter of the 918D, and, as you can see, it is also considerably longer. So, to keep the same wheelbase, it had to be angled above the trailing axle. Fortunately, there's plenty of room inside the loco body to accommodate this beast. As it was wider, there was insufficient space for the tooth belt, and so I used fly cranks, which are more realistic, and so I figured I could even run the loco with its side skirts access panels raised. This motor block is considerably more powerful than any other used on my railway. With enough ballast, I suspect it could haul practically every piece of rolling stock I have. With a ratio of 51 to 1, she won't win any prizes for speed, but locos on Peckforton Light Railway are restricted to 15 miles per hour, and so that won't be a problem. For now, she's been tested with a train of my Glynn Valley stock and, as you can see, handles that quite nicely.